Hey guys, Dan here with Battlefield Curator. How do you connect with people in the military surplus community? How do you make friends in this community? Well, I'm gonna tell you two ways that I use, or three ways that I use to uh, connect with people within the Milserp collecting and antique collectibles community. All right, so number one, uh, when you're at work, you know, you can connect with people and share your passions. Well, word will get around and you talk to enough people or you get known for being like the gun guy or the antique guy or the uh, old historic rifle guy and somebody else that's interested in these collectibles will eventually get word of you and find you or you will coincidentally meet uh, somehow some way um, so at work um, just talking to folks at work just saying hey you know uh, just keep you know just keep networking with people and share your passions and your hobbies and your interests with other people at work and eventually you'll meet somebody with the same or similar passion uh, another way to connect that I do is uh, going to local shops uh, local antique stores gun shops military surplus stores flea markets gun shows just going and traveling around talking to people talking to the shop owners and you know even sometimes the shop owners might know somebody else and and they'll help connect you guys and uh, or maybe the shop owner himself is a uh, antique collector so you know just talking to people at the shops just you know networking just hanging out there and just connecting with people and socializing and you know you'll might you might meet somebody there that has the same or similar passion and you guys can exchange phone numbers exchange social media and then maybe go to the range and just have fun. The third way I use to network with people is uh, essentially using the Facebook groups, uh, social media, uh, messaging people on Instagram, uh, commenting on photos and, and videos, and just uh, enjoying the content and telling people how, uh, how awesome that rifle is or you know just sharing information with each other. If you connect with people enough on social media, you'll eventually find out where people are from or how close they are, and maybe you guys can do a live stream or uh, share content or collaborate on something. Uh, maybe meet up at a range that's kind of like halfway between you and them, or just maybe hang out at their place, you know, take the trip, take a road trip. Uh, so yeah, social media. Uh, Facebook groups are great because people share a ton of information on Facebook groups. There's a lot of how-to stuff. There's a lot of issues that people need help resolving. So if you can help somebody out, uh, I'm sure they'll uh, grant you their friendship and uh, you guys can connect that way. Uh, and then you'll be known for being you know, helpful and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, but if you're a demeaning person on social media, on Facebook groups, uh, you'll get kicked out of the groups and you're, um, you'll probably uh, not be liked very much on social media. So uh, just keep that in mind, be respectful. Well guys, that's it for the video. Uh, be sure to pulverize that like button and subscribe for the algorithms. It really helps out with the channel. And as always, be sure to learn history and curate history. Make it a great day.